Cleveland Browns quarterback Baker Mayfield has been addressing his disliking with the NFL's COVID-19 protocols on Twitter over the past couple of days, the past couple of hours. He was one of the players that tested positive for COVID and will most likely miss the game against the Raiders tomorrow. I believe at this point he is now like 99% chance that he will not play. I don't think he can play at this point unless NFL change something, which he's advocating for. Baker Mayfield tweets, at NFL, make up your damn mind on protocols, showing up and making only three teams test all so you can keep the game as scheduled to make money. That was his first tweet, then later on he tweets, actually caring about player safety would mean delaying the game with this continuing at the rate it is, but to say you won't test vaccinated players if they don't have symptoms, then to pull this randomly doesn't make any sense to me. And then a final tweet, tell me if this makes sense, no test this morning, then let our team gather for practice, then show up after practice to test them. Something seems off here. So this is obviously Baker Mayfield about the Browns, who now currently have 22 players on reserve COVID list. He is very unpleased with the NFL's COVID protocols, as many players are, but Baker is one of the players that has voiced his frustrations, and as he should have a right to do so. He's frustrated with the fact that he won't be able to play in tomorrow's game, which is very important for the Browns and whether or not they're going to make the playoffs. Um, so... What do we think? Do we think he's right for saying it? Do we think the NFL is a problem with their code of protocols? Do we think this is just another incident of the Baker Mayfield making noise that doesn't need to be made? In my opinion, I think he's doing something good here. Um, the protocols are weird. You have 22 inactive players on your team. They're not the only team. I believe the Washington football team also has 22 players on COVID reserve list, and that should be enough to cancel the game. 22 players is a full offense and a full defense. That 22 players could get you through a full NFL game if you wanted to. And when you have teams that, like the Browns, that are now on their third string quarterback, like the Reds, the Washington football team, who are now on their third string quarterback, signing a guy to start on Sunday, you should cancel the game. I know we had a situation with Denver last year where they made them play with no quarterback, but you have double digit numbers. Double digit should be enough to cancel the game. They just recently moved the Rams and Seahawks game. And, and we will see if any other games get moved or, as Baker Mayfield is advocating, potentially canceled. Now, people can say that Baker is slightly selfish by saying this just because he wants to get him canceled so he can potentially play, and maybe he wouldn't be voicing these concerns if he was still able to play, but personally, I think he would not. I think he's got a very good point. I think the NFL should move some of these games back, especially games with such importance on playoff status, and how can you expect the team to make the playoffs if they're running out in a very important game, a must-win game, some might call it, without their quarterback? And it's like if Indianapolis loses Jonathan Taylor before the Patriots game tomorrow, Everyone would pick New England, but with Jonathan Taylor, it's a toss-up. You don't know who's going to win. So it's the same situation for Cleveland. We don't know. Cleveland's going to now run out Nick Mullins instead of Baker Mayfield and or Case Keenum, who's also on a COVID reserve list. So and how Baker Mayfield's trying to prove himself, get a new contract, and he's not going to be allowed to play to COVID. So let me know what you think. I think Baker's got a point. Let me know. Do you agree or disagree with Baker Mayfield's comments?